Hey, good morning, good morning, everybody. Look at this beautiful, beautiful sunrise here this morning. I'm here at the Slavs truck stop here in uh, Fargo, North Dakota. And that sky looks absolutely gorgeous this fine morning. I'm just walking back to my truck. But anyways, it is a cold morning, but that sunrise looks amazing. Here we go, guys. Time to put her in gear and get our day started. Yeah, as you guys saw, I, phone, I recorded that little clip there with my phone. And uh, yeah, that was... Uh, that was nice, a very, very nice, beautiful uh, sunrise this morning. So now it's time to hit the road again. And I didn't realize for some odd reason the uh, GoPro 6 had uh, automatically uh, turned off the uh, stabilization. So when that happens, it makes it a much wider angle view. And I didn't realize that for some odd reason that I'd done that, but... So if you see some shaky videos here in the last few days, that's probably why, because I didn't realize in that. 500 feet, turn right on 32nd Avenue yeah, South, and then we are, take the entrance uh, to the right in 860 feet. Obviously in Fargo, North Dakota right now, trying to get out of here, and I see... Feet, uh, turn right on 30... I see that beautiful... Uh, Sun starting to show up over there. Yeah, I like that. Anyways, it is a cold morning, but not crazy, crazy cold, but it is a cold morning. I gotta wait here until I get the green arrow that we can go. Yeah, I don't know why they why they do this, but I mean there is no sign saying that I can't make a right hand turn. Most of the times you can, but and I probably will because, I mean, this is just an exit lane up here anyways. It's not like I'm going to go into a lane where there is traffic. Should be alright. See, this is just a, a turning lane to begin with. But yeah, that sun has risen and now we got beautiful sunshine it looks like. We got a, little, a few clouds up there but nothing too serious, right? Uh, yeah, so we got uh, 547 miles to go till we get to St. Joseph. And uh, hopefully uh, I get me a load to Toronto from there. That would be nice, nice. I would like that. Yeah, I spent the night here at the Loves. That was, uh, that was nice. Like when I got here last night, there was still plenty of parking lo uh, left up here. That's one of the reasons I like going up here, because everybody likes to go across the street to the Flying J. And I don't really care for that particular Flying J. I like going up to the Slubs here, so. Anyhow, that's Hammer Down. Appreciate you guys tuning in today, guys. I really do. Just decided to pull over into one of these rest areas and got me a new load offer and all that. Not really too excited about this particular load offer, but we're going to accept it anyways. But I kind of figured that's the load I was going to get. But the reason I pulled over is so I could get me this fired up right here. You guys see that? My wife cooked me uh, some homemade meals. Looks like noodles and chicken. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to go ahead and warm that up for a uh, little while. And then... Uh, We'll have us a good lunch. I'll probably start driving again and go down the road a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys this beauty right here. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I guess they had some ice fog over here too. And now some oh I see a I see a rabbit over there running. I really did. I should get my camera out and see if I can now he ran behind that tree over there, but Maybe he'll pop out somewhere and I can take a picture of him. That would be kind of nice. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, this is not really a uh, rest area that has a bathroom or anything like that. It's just more like a pullover area kind of deal. So I just kind of pulled into here and just wanted to stop here so I could uh, 
actually, uh, you know, put my stuff into my uh, Burton oven there so we can start heating that up. And so, yeah, pull her in here. Now we're going to go down the road for a little while and until that heats up real nicely. And we're going to go ahead and have us a good lunch. What do you guys think? I think that's a fantastic idea. I think I like that idea. Yeah, what I was saying about that load is I kind of suspected I was going to get that load because uh, it's in the same area. So basically we're, we will just be going straight back home again, which I don't really like that idea, but I'm just going to make myself available to go right away again, I guess. That's all I can do. All I can do. Anyways, let's hammer down and uh, get back at it again and see how far we can make it today, right? It is lunchtime now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look. This is a pre cooked meal that the wife cooked at home. We got some chicken in here and I just kind of stirred it up a little bit so that way it would heat up completely, right? But that looks fantastic. And I also had uh, or have one of these things here. I'm going to have that as for my dessert. And uh, yeah, so we drove about 45 minutes down the road and found this uh, another rest area up here, an actual rest area. So we pulled in here and I'm going to go ahead and have me good lunch. I like it. All right, it is time to hit the road again. We had us a very, very nice lunch. Yeah, I like it. I really enjoy that, that's for sure. Nothing like a home cooked meal right here in the truck that the wife cooked me, right? So that was really nice. I enjoy that. But now we got to get back at it again. We had 45 minutes off over here. It wasn't uh, quite hot on the top, but it was nice and hot on the bottom already. So I stirred it up once and then uh, just went for a little bit of a walk around here and and then uh, came back. And then it was nice and warm and I just kept it plugged in while I was, you know, digging the hot stuff from the bottom up. Stirred it again a little bit like that. And had me good lunch and a good dessert. Some water to drink with it. Yeah, I think we are doing just fine. And I have exactly three meals like that. Except one of them is like yuca and uh, In beef rib that the wife uh, packaged south. up for me. So uh, that's going to be a little bit different, but. I have two packets like that. One is noodles, the other one is with rice and uh, vegetables and some meat in there, or whatever. I'll probably cook that for tomorrow. And then, uh, or we'll see exactly how we do it. Then one of my, no, my camera should be recording. For some odd reason, my GoPro 6 up here on the top had uh, I don't know if it was something I listened to uh, through the radio or whatever but for some odd weird reason it had uh, turned itself on and, and started recording without my knowledge and it's done it a couple of times already and all of a sudden I just hear beep 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 you know and then the battery is dead so I was forced to recharge it now and delete all the unnecessary files. So that's why I haven't really recorded anything here in a, probably in a good hour or two. I was actually about to turn it back on and you know show you something and uh, then I noticed my camera was almost dead there or, or just beeping right so yeah anyways it is uh four o'clock in the afternoon and i think we are uh almost in council bluff right now yeah we've been doing pretty good i would say as far as time wise goes yeah we're doing really good in my opinion but anyhow we're uh 
we're still 150 miles away from getting to our customer I gotta look yet to see on which side of the city they are they are because uh, on the side of the city that I was at the other day there's a truck stop right there but I don't know which side of the city they are actually so I'm gonna have to look that up later and see whereabouts I can spend the night at right but yeah so we got close to another three hours to go yet we got four hours and 18 minutes remaining on the clock so we should be all right but I will probably make me another pit stop here uh, soon just uh, you know stretch the legs and go for a little walk or whatever you know you got to get out and stretch your legs every once in a while you know you get <clears throat> cramped up from just sitting in so long right but I don't know what it is I think I might be getting on with a cold or something myself here I can feel it in my throat too I hope it's not gonna be too serious I hope not but other than that I'm starting to see a lot of these hawks I even saw a bald eagle here just a few minutes ago that are sitting on the side of the road here on the trees and stuff like that just waiting for a roadkill or waiting for something to pop up and they'll snap it right getting himself a good meal but I don't see him further north I guess it's starting to get too cold for them to be further north so, uh, I saw them quite a bit here last week already and never really managed to take a picture of him last week I really wanted to it just never happened right alrighty guys we have found our uh, little rest area up here I just hold it a little different here so hopefully I can hold this properly but yeah that sun is starting to go down and I figured yeah I go into this rest area up here and go use the men's room a little bit take me a little bit of a break yeah I see some birds flying up there can you guys actually see that man that looks nice doesn't it with that uh, sun starting to go down over there yeah I think I'm gonna go back and uh, and make me a couple of sandwiches and then uh, I should be A-OK -okay to go again right for a couple of hours I think we got about two more hours to go oh all right we had our uh, little break here made me a couple of sandwiches now we're good to go and that sun is almost down over there that looks amazing it really does but I have other 120 miles to go and I just looked it up to see which side of the town my uh, delivery actually is and it looks like uh, it's gonna be very very close to that same area I was at the other day last week I guess I could say so that means I can go to that uh, same truck stop as I stayed at uh, last week so that one seemed to have parking fairly late in the evening yet so uh, I should be all right I got there last week around uh, I don't know quarter to seven had no problem getting a parking spot there and uh, that's about the time I should be getting there today as well so uh, we'll see we'll keep our fingers crossed but it's gonna be dark here before you know it yeah oh well that's yeah, okay winter is here right but December 21st is going to be the shortest day of the year so uh, after that the days will start getting longer right <laughs> I'm definitely gonna look forward to that. I made it down to St. Joseph, guys. <clears throat> I'm at the truck stop here. I'm only about one mile away from actually making it down. Oh, geez. That's actually my alarm clock. <laughs> I was only supposed to get up at 7.30. And, uh, yeah, when I got down here... <clears throat> I wasn't feeling good I told you guys that I kind of felt like that I was coming on with something too right so that's exactly what's happening and then uh, I didn't have any cash on me and walked in here and uh, wanted to get me a cash advance so I could get me some uh, 
some drugs, I guess, to have me a good night's sleep and maybe sleep it off a little bit, right? But no, then they wouldn't let me take a cash advance. It's like, no, I don't have enough cash on here. So I was kind of stuck without any kind of drugs. So <clears throat> now it's the next morning and uh, I just woke up here a little bit ago or I've been kind of up here for a, lot, a little while, but I just couldn't sleep anymore. I had to go to use the bathroom and <clears throat> now she finally allowed me to uh, take a cash at man. So I got me some Dayquil and uh, got me some of these things here so this way uh, I can uh, chew on them and and uh, stuff like that so hopefully my waist doesn't disappear completely but anyways <clears throat> I guess I better get ready to uh, go down to my customer and deliver this load and uh, yeah so let's get get out of here appreciate you guys watching anyways and uh, just to let you guys know, I am revamping my website. So if you guys have been on my website in the last few days, uh, you probably notice it's completely different or uh, may not even be up. Who knows, right? But we're working on it. Uh, for some odd reason, when they updated it, it, it screwed everything up. So uh, I was thinking about revamping it for a while anyway. So now is the time. So now we're going to do it. So that's, uh, that's it, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll be back tomorrow, hopefully. Have a great day, everybody.